Good day, everyone, and welcome to the Grumpy Old Gamers podcast. Can't teach an old gamer new tricks. I'm Ryan, and with me, as always, is my good buddy, Rob. Hey there. How you doing, fella? Good, good. How are you? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Looks like you had a little bit of an itchy nose or something there. I, I don't, know what happen- don't know what happened. Yeah, I. right as I was counting in, I just, yeah. My allergies have been really bad with it being so windy this past couple of days. Like, it's just kicking everything up, and... My eyes are just want to scratch them out. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. I hear you. Great time to have allergies, mm-hmm. especially when everyone's watching to, for people who are sneezing and coughing. And yeah. 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 Has he, has he got a pollen allergy or has he got the COVID? Mm-hmm. <laughs> do we lynch him or do we let him go? <laughs> Should is lynch it? just to be sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, yo, they always choose lynch. <laughs> When in doubt, choose Lynch. <laughs> well, they're called Lynch mobs. What else are they going to do? It's <laughs> they're, fair. They're not, there anyway. let them go. they're not called let them go mobs. <laughs> That'd be like a good Care Bear band, eh? Like the, it's the let them go. It's a let them go gang. Yeah. <laughs> what should we do? Let's let them go. Let's let them go. I'm sure Sharing. it's fine. Sharing and caring. <sighs> uh, yeah. So we're, we're recording here on uh, Monday. And uh, we just had Thanksgiving here in Canada. And uh, you uh, partook in some turkey or other large meals? Absolutely. Some turkey, some ham, way too much pie and cheesecake. And mm-hmm. Oh, you betcha. We, uh, we decided to not make a turkey this year. And uh, we made a uh, prime rib. Oh, you can't yeah. go wrong with prime rib? No, no, you can't. <laughs> good stuff, good it stuff. really good. And yeah, so also had some pie. I love pumpkin pie. Like who who doesn't like a good pumpkin oh, pie? Man, like you know, with like four inches of like <laughs> just whipped cream on the top of it. Like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's really just a whipped cream delivery device at that point. It's true, right? <laughs> you could probably stick it on top of just about anything and it would be just as good. Uh-huh. Ah. <sighs> So, you know, we're a little worn out after having a long weekend of eating there. Yep. For our American friends, we have the thanks we have Thanksgiving in October because in November the polar bears are out and it's a little bit too dangerous to go get the turkeys. Yeah. That's yeah. what historically happens in Canada. So mm-hmm. and you don't want to fight a polar bear for a turkey. No. No. They are vicious. It ain't worth it. Nope. Just ain't worth it. Well, in uh, housekeeping, um, just wanted to announce that we have $9 after Patreon has taken their fees in our Patreon account. Yes. So we're going to let that build up a little bit and we'll pay off one of our, maybe after next month, we'll pay off one of our bills for the month. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Thank you, everyone who's uh, contributed or Absolutely. thought about contributing or uh, just for checking us out. You know, we appreciate good. you. It's the little things that make me happy, and that makes me happy. So it's true. Uh, but other than that, I think that's all the housekeeping I had. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, yeah. We can just oh, move yeah. right on into news. Right into the news. Like just smack this pony in the butt and let's keep keep moving. <laughs> um. So they're offering a free trial of Overwatch for a week on the Switch. From okay. starting today till next Tuesday. Also starting today is their um, Halloween event, which is usually one of their popular one where you can work on getting costumes, the Halloween costumes for your Overwatch characters. So I, uh, you know, I still play Overwatch almost every night. Like, Great. At least, or at least, a, well, this past week, it's been a couple nights because I've been playing something else and we'll talk about that later in the show. Um, but yeah, so that's exciting. You know, if you've been wanting to just give a little Overwatch a try, Rob, no better price than free. You can't beat free. You can't beat free. Maybe, well, I haven't been thoroughly embarrassed in a multiplayer FPS for a long time, so <laughs> just give it a try. <laughs> You know what? If you've been playing the Borderlands on the Switch, I think it'll translate really well to... It's a lot easier. You don't have to be as accurate. Oh, that's good. 
That's good. Unless you take a character that needs really accurate shots, but I mean, there's only really one sniper in the game, so. Okay, right on. Yeah. Now, is it Overwatch just free on the Switch, or was it free on anything else? Well, the notice I saw, it said it was just the Switch. Okay. So, um... This is where we prove that we don't do any pre-show work. <laughs> it's like... I'm going to click on Steam right now, just in case. You won't find it on Steam. Oh, is it not on Steam, Overwatch? No, because you you have to go to over to Blizzard and buy it. Oh. Blizzard has a store? Is this where I, is this where I embarrass myself in front of all our... <laughs> I know uh, uh, like EA has a store, right? But, yeah. Uh, there's a they have their whole launcher, the Blizzard launcher, like where you can only you launch like Overwatch and WoW right, and right, yeah, Heroes yeah, of the but, Storm from. Yeah. So that's the only place you can buy it too? As far as I know. Mother Trucker. Yeah. No, this uh, from what I'm seeing here, Rob, it's the uh it's only free on Switch right now. Oh, right on. So get in there. Yeah. Give it a try. Send yeah. you, send us That's an email great. if you're if you're looking for someone to play with. I play, like I said, almost every night. Show you the ropes. Uh yeah. <laughs> there you go. Overwatch. <laughs> and don't bother messaging me because I yeah. Look look for Rob in the map. He'll be the guy. I'll be the guy with the gun straight up in the air, just going, ah just spinning. Yeah. Um so Nintendo had a Treehouse event this week, which is one of their events where they bring in developers and show gameplay footage. And right. they they, uh, they were talking about Pikmin 3 and Hyrule Warriors, um, the new one, the age of, uh, oh my goodness. The calamity in the word somewhere? Or? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a brain fart. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, they had their treehouse event, and uh, I had a chance to watch some of that. Man, like, uh, I don't know why I'm getting so excited for uh, Age of Calamity. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Um, but it looks really good. And then after the event, they announced um, a Pikmin three demo. Right, I gotta try that out still. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know what like. Yeah, Pikmin is just one of those games that it's got a little bit of darkness to it, just a little touch, okay. and that's what that's what I think I find so appealing about it. Because I mean, you've got this army of your little Pikmin with you, and you just start throwing them at giant beasts, and like the beasts are like eating them, and like you know, <laughs> they, like they will like have grab a mouthful of them and shake them, and then like all these Pikmin go flying and. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> when you really think about it, you're like, oh, oh my, that's quite... This, this is very dark. This is a little dark. All these little guys are just getting oh, eaten. Nintendo, what are you doing? <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, it's one but, of those games I've always meant to give a try. I know you absolutely love them. And... Yes. So I I also realized, I've been, I've been kind of watching to find myself a copy of uh, Pikmin 2 for GameCube. I actually discovered the other day, I, I picked it up on Wii because they re released it with waggle yeah. controls. Right. Yeah. Right. So I don't know if I want to play with waggle controls, but I'm sure they translate there very well, like the kind of stuff you do. But I might just wait till I can find a decently priced copy for GameCube. You know, I think whenever the upper, whenever you, your choice is between waggle controls and not waggle <laughs> controls, it's always a very easy choice. Yeah, there's no waggle. That's going to no, be no like the uh, acid wash jeans section or a time in video games where people are like, I can't believe they did that or thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, there were some things that it worked for and then some things it's like, we're going to wedge it in. So you have to make Link swing a sword because that'll be fun. Yes. For, you know, a, a 40 for hour. a 25 hour game. <laughs> <laughs> Just... I'm getting so tired. That's uh, you know, I, I've multiple times I've I've tried to start up uh, Metroid Three, and oh, just yeah? like, you know, they don't have um, you got to point and shoot at stuff on the screen, right? Yeah, 
wouldn't it be great if they made a uh, a trilogy remake for say the switch mm. nintendo we're looking at you we see you lurking there yeah yeah That'd do a good it. idea do it might, now might sell okay <laughs> people uh, would lose their minds yep yep but just put a little more work into it than you did 3d all-stars just just a little, little, by little. that we mean any any would be good <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one and two will transfer no problem. Like that's right. Uh, but yeah, yeah, because one and two are GameCube, right? They're, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I can honestly say I finished the first one. Mm-hmm. Got somewhere into the second one, and like I said, multiple tries on the third. <laughs> yep. Yep. But that first one was such an experience, man. Like it's like nothing I'd ever played before. Just, oh yeah, I mean, absolutely great genre-defining type games, right? So, um, just distract the people. I had a thought. Uh oh, oh boy. So, uh-huh. um. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's really that might be a rumor. Oh. I probably shouldn't bring that up on the show. Um yeah. <laughs> so for the the tease everyone, sorry about that. Uh you have to send me the link of whatever you just saw because now I'm intrigued. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I'm trying to see if there's something more uh I just anyways yeah. we fell down a rabbit hole there the point <laughs> we is there we did uh, Metroid please yes uh mm-hmm. give the Pikmin demo a try yes I, absolutely yeah and see if it uh t- <laughs> tickles your fancy in any way because it tickles mine it tickles my fancy Rob excellent excellent <laughs> I like it <laughs> uh so in weird kind of big news this week, um, mm-hmm. GameStop announces a multi-year partnership with Microsoft. I saw that. I saw so, that, yeah. From what I read, it doesn't mm-hmm. look like they're going to become like Microsoft stores, but I think, but they did say that they're basically replacing their whole POS yes. system with uh, Microsoft-based products. Yeah, they're going to have Dynamics 365, Surface Notebooks, and uh, they're all going to use Teams. Yeah. Uh, poor bastards. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's kind of interesting. Like, I mean, um, you know, kind of guarantees GameStop's longevity for a little bit longer. Yep. Uh, yep. And maybe, you know, maybe they'll have a little Microsoft section in every GameStop, you know, that just specializes in Microsoft products. Doesn't necessarily, I mean, they could sell PC stuff and, be for the gamer yeah or or like surface pros right like mm-hmm. sell the uh you can see the staff use them and then you can pick one up as you're heading out you know it's a good uh, it's a good little demo device for project x cloud too ah yes absolutely right. or um if you're a music lover you could get a microsoft zoom um <laughs> it almost did it it's great it, it, that was close <laughs> i was not expecting a zoom reference no no i'm like where's it going with music <laughs> Boom. <laughs> well they can't all be winners right like, <laughs> so, for every game for every game pass there's a vista so so i did wanna so i, I know i said i wasn't gonna do this but i'm gonna give it a try you're doing it yeah here oh we go. you disabled my screen sharing ability what that's a thing i can do apparently all right well i'm gonna fix that distract the people while i'm talking here so Rob doesn't trust me. He thinks I'm just going to share not stuff randomly during the show, not related to video games. So he took away my ability to share my screen. And really, I'm a little bit hurt by that. I don't even see an option for that. <laughs> um, okay. Keep talking. <laughs> it's going to be in my... Uh... <laughs> oh, you know what? I can... Oh, if I make you host, then you can, right? Maybe. It's going to break the... Let's see if it breaks it. Okay. Y'all still there? Check one. 
Check two. Looks like it. All right, uh, you're the host. I'm, says I'm the host <laughs> now. So you should be able to share. Look at that. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see here, Sony announced this week after... <laughs> Uh, you're seeing this, right, Rob? Oh, absolutely. You okay. Um, this amazing piece of this isn't a this isn't a, a artist mock-up. This is the actual Miles Morales PS5 coming out. Yeah. And holy crap! You know, on the PS4s, they never did anything like this. They never put like the textured, like yep. it was always just paint jobs. Yep. You know color like just colors of plastic and paint jobs but holy crap like look at this mm -hmm. that would look very nice sitting up on my tv stand rob it would uh I got a little closer picture of the and look at that it's like shiny red metallic mm -hmm. on the controller yeah that's, that's just cool. man oh man anyways i just thought that was sure worthy like oh whoo I, I hope that was worth it for that, folks. <laughs> Absolutely. You bet. You bet. No, it's but, uh, very nice. And it's, is he, so who's actually putting that out? Is it being, is it Sony or is there uh, someone nope. else releasing it? That's Sony. Hmm. Yeah. That is very cool. So. Any prices? I didn't see any prices. No. Not yet. But uh, anyways, that was not anywhere near the biggest news this week. We again, the since the consoles have announced their prices and the uh, you know the launch days are looming closer here, the news uh, the news has been pretty light. I would say <laughs> I don't know, uh, but yeah, it's a it's a good way of that's a good segue to the um, the fact that. We are all of like, we're less than a month away from systems yeah. being launched, right? Uh, like November 10th and the November, what's the other one? I don't even remember. 12th or something. It's within days of each other. Yeah. Yeah. You got that. Have you ever seen so little game trailers and like, I mean, you see them in the, in the directs and things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, there's like, you're not seeing like pre-reviews. You're not seeing, like, there's just, it's like, oh yeah, it's happening in a month. You have to kind of remind yourself like, oh yeah, they're launching two new next gen devices. It seems like the fanfare, other than like the little tiny bursts around the pre-orders mm -hmm. has been pretty minimal. Really minimal. Yeah. So I haven't heard this bad in, well, I, think... I, I can't remember a launch like this. Like, yeah. <laughs> there's been no launch like this like the, yeah you know the game of chicken with the prices and um it's i honestly think it's because most of the launch titles are coming out on both systems right and i mean xbox now that's kind of their thing mm -hmm. you know is that it, you can play it on anything you know yep yep and um even even the console exclusives for PS5, like Miles Morales, that's coming out on the PS4. Yes. As well. Um, any of the third party, the other third big third party title, um, mm -hmm. uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, that's coming out on yep. all systems. Um, really? You got Ratchet and Clank. And is that a launch title or is that a... Uh... It it's not coming. It's not launching when the when the console launches. Right. I think it's I think it's uh, either December or later, and I think that's the first title that's exclusive to PS Five. Right, right. And even that, I'm not hundred percent on. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but it's not right away, right? Like it's uh... no. Um, so that kind of leads me to. I was having a little discussion with you guys uh, um, the other night because I, I fell down on a rabbit hole, uh, you know, as I tend to do. And 
you know, after I found out that Miles Morales was coming out on on um, PS4 as well, I was kind of like, oh, mm. like what am I? What do I need to be doing yep. to get? Like, why am I rushing to get a PS5? This is the one game that I need to play right away. Oh, you know what it was? Is they had a splash banner. Actually, it wasn't even on the main page, but you could pre-order mm-hmm. Miles Morales on the PS4. Right. It's the price that confused me, Rob, for it. Yes, because yeah. you saw it was 55 or something, right? $65. I think they announced that Miles Morales was not a full-price game on the PS5 as well. It, well, it's going to be an $80 game. Is it? Yeah, because they're jumping to 90 Canadian like oh yeah yeah i thought miles morales they always announced was not a full price game though oh maybe and see that so that's that's what but i mean my memory at this age i'm is absolutely shocked but i think it's going to be cheaper than 80 for both systems well on the ps for, for ps4 and ps5 yeah on the ps4 it's 65 yeah canadian though right yes yeah, I think it's the same price for the PS5. No, I, don't, I think it's, I think it's more. Huh. If only we had a. <laughs> yeah, if we had some sort of a. <laughs> reminding my wife to pick up my daughter here. Don't forget to pick up kids. Yeah, it's eighty nine ninety nine. Oh really? No. Oh, you know what? There's an ultimate edition. Ah, okay. Yeah. Which comes with with uh, Spider Man. Like the first one remastered. Okay. And that, yep. one, that one's ninety. But no, you were right. the The PS Five edition is sixty five dollars. Yeah, and I won't take credit for having a steel trap memory. I did just hear someone talk about this. Oh, okay. <laughs> and they're saying, yeah, it's like they were trying to figure out how much value there was going to be, you know, and well, that's what that's what kind of leads price. me to wonder. If this mm-hmm. was just going to be DLC for the first Spider-Man. If it was going to be, eh? And then they yeah. made it into a full game? Yeah. It might have been. I, I it, it might be. It might have. It kind of smacks that there's a, uh, it was going to be DLC. And then Sony was like, we need a launch title or two. Mm-hmm. Because um, <laughs> we don't have one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the ultimate edition of it, eighty nine okay. ninety nine, and that's just because of the, uh, because it's got the remastered one with it, uh, the remastered of the old game. Yeah, uh, apparently you get some digital bonus stuff too, some suits and things. Right, right. But the big I, deal is, is that uh, you get that code for Spider Man with it. I'm looking through. I'm here in Canada. We don't have GameStop. We have EB Games. I'm looking through the the list of PS5 games they are selling and their release dates, trying to see what is going to be available on November. Ratchet and Clank is going to be available November 12th. Oh, it is. Okay, so there you go. You've got one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops is November 13th. Again, another uh, not a, another yeah. game coming to all the the systems. Yeah, now I'm just looking for things you can play to begin with, right? Like NBA 2K21, Ugh. Um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It says November 12th. Okay. That oh, oh, Miles Morales, Sack Boy: A Big Adventure is going to be out November 12th. Oh, it will. Huh? Okay. I think um, that one's I think that one's PS5 exclusive. I don't think that's yeah, that would be. That would be. Um Demon Souls 5. Or sorry, Demon Souls for PlayStation 5. That's November coming out. 12th. Oh. Destruction All Stars. Hmm. But yeah, to more to your point. Um how, how many of those? Oh, Godfall. Always forget about Godfall. <laughs> that's it. Is, is so, Godfall PS5 exclusive? I... Let me look that up. But yeah, <laughs> out of all those games, yeah, how many are PS5 exclusive, right? Like, what is... Because 
Yep, it looks like it's a PS5 exclusive. It Unless is. it's no, yeah. or is it on PC? I'd have to check Steam for that. We're going way off script here today, folks. <laughs> Please bear with us. We're uh, at our age. It's uh, Godfall. I thought that was a, a PS5. Yeah, it, it looks like PS5 a... exclusive, yeah. So you've got, if you're buying a PS5, and a lot of people are, mm-hmm. um, the amount of like exclusives that you need a PS5 and can't play on PS4, you got Godfall, Ratchet and Clank, Demon Souls, Demon Souls, Sackboy. Sackboy will be an exclusive, yeah. Or is it's four? Yeah. Yeah, man. It's not that the games aren't going to look better on like if the even if it's available on PS4. If you bought a PS5, it's going to look spectacular, but you could still squeeze a lot of life out of your old PS4. Yeah. And you know what? That actually makes it a little easier because I was like, I was like, man, I'm gonna, I really want to play Miles Morales and. Yep. Yep. You know, Cyberpunk's coming out in November, and uh, you know, I, I really mm-hmm. want to hop into that. You Absolutely. know, I, I, I put Miles Morales on my Christmas list. I'm sure I'll get it for Christmas. Get it on PS4. If you want to send a copy of Miles Morales to Ryan Cashmere, mm-hmm. send it, send an email code to uh, make us grumpy at gmail.com. Yes, don't actually do that, folks. That's don't do it. I... <laughs> so yeah that's uh it's interesting and then like xbox has even less oh man uh, exclusive like what do they have for exclusive on uh i mean now we're, so we're down this rabbit hole we're gonna keep uh, going you know i'm gonna be bold and say do they have any just exclusive series x titles i'm looking up xbox series Um, okay, 21 games. We got okay, you're gonna have to amuse the people here for a while because I'm not seeing <laughs> Gears Tac nope, Gears Tactics is out for uh it's out on PC and it's coming to yeah. yeah. Overcooked all you can eat. Oh, there you go. <laughs> No, it's December. It's not even available now. Uh, Dude, I don't see... I don't think they have launch titles, man. Yeah, I am pulling up the list of bestsellers. Uh Yeah. But that's kind of a thing that they're okay with. Yeah. And if between the two, if they're both taking that kind of strategy, Xbox doesn't seem to care if you play it on an Xbox Series X. No. It'd be like, hey, it, it'll work better on those, but you want to play it on PC? You want to get Game Pass? You want to do this and that? We're happy. Well, do you know what the game Bright Memory is? No. No? Okay. No. That's the only game I don't recognize... Maybe Observer System Redux in the launch title game. Anyways, there's nothing. To, there's no Halo. There's no yeah. Gears of War. Uh, there's no Forza. Um, yeah. What are some other Microsoft exclusives? Uh, well, I guess the, now um, anything by Bethesda. Anything by Bethesda? Yeah. <laughs> Coming out here, yeah. Not, but not for launch. It's weird man super weird yeah it's gonna be interesting to see the two different um and we've talked about this a lot the two different strategies this time yeah xbox is about buying developers and releasing it on as many different platforms as they can mm-hmm. sony is still kind of uh doing the exclusive need a ps5 for the most part yeah um It'd be interesting to see how it works out. You know, it's it's a different kind of time. You know, it's uh, it's uh, as far as um, 
value for what you get if you're uh, struggling economically, which a lot of us are like, you know, the COVID has kind of kicked the crap out of so many things this year. Yeah. Well, Game Pass is the cheapest way to, to play some games, you know? It's true. Yeah. I, you know what? I was, I was gonna, I have made plans on November 12th or 11th, whatever day is on the EB Games page there to, to get on there so I could get my Series X. Yeah. Then, uh, you know, I caught up a little bit in the hype, but then I, I was thinking sure. about it more. And I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't even have a 4K TV yet. I'm still waiting for my 1080p here to die. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, yeah. Yeah, there's no advantage because if you don't, no. the Series S, it would be something if you're going up to 1440. Mm-hmm. But if you're not, you may be better off getting to use uh, Xbox One X. Yeah, exactly, you know? right? Then you get the the um, up res graphics for the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's an interesting time. It is. Even, oh, I closed it already. Their list of stuff coming like shortly after launch, mm-hmm. I didn't see an exclusive in there either. Yeah. So they really, they really aren't worrying about any exclusives. They are, they're just. Yeah, the the trailers all are still very Halo centric. For like, hey Halo, hey Master Chief over here, Halo. Considering it's not going to be there at launch or any time in the near yeah. future after that's uh it's like hey if you buy now wait we'll see we have in a few weeks or a few months <laughs> right like <laughs> yeah interesting stuff man interesting it stuff. is it is let us know in the comments uh yeah where you guys stand on that like who's who's ahead in the game what um because we also had another topic because why the hell not we're at this point we're so far off for a... we're, yeah, we're, we're what do what do people think now about um, about brand exclusivity? You know what mm. I mean? Like uh, we're talking about at our and we're talking people more our age. You know the ones who aren't screaming and yelling on Twitter. Uh, do you care? Do you have like a, a driving Sony um, like passion that you you have to be Sony? It's all Sony. Sony's the best, or Microsoft, Microsoft all the way. Or are you just getting to the point now where it's like, if it's a good game, I just want to play it and I really don't care what on. Yeah, man. That's kind of where I am right now, right? Mm-hmm. It's uh it's true. And mm-hmm. you know, I I had I had an aversion and I don't know why of playing like console games on my PC. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Like I've Yep. I, I'm over it. <laughs> yeah. It's you know? true. It's true. And, uh, you know, I'll be up to date on Xbox games for quite some time now. You know, at least a, a year, year and a half, maybe even two, depending, depending yep. what comes out, you know? Yep. Game Pass but, is... Uh... But yeah, like brand... I, I, yeah, I don't really have brand... Like... My PS3 and my 360, I bought way after they came out. Mm -hmm. And I bought the PS3 first because I wanted to try the Move controllers because I heard they were so much better than the the, the Wii controllers, right? Right. And uh, all I really tried it with was uh, the sports game that it came with. They had some cool stuff in there. They did. And then... I only bought the Xbox 360 because I wanted to play Star Wars Connect because I love the idea of, you know, playing the Connect game. And, and yes, the dance game. That's no. <laughs> you might be you might be the only person in history who is who did bought both those systems for those exact reasons. I know, right? <laughs> it's like I want a PlayStation 3 cuz I wanted to use the Move controllers. Oh, Okay, there you go. <laughs> and then, you know, then I started like picking up like all the cheap games that I'd heard of and giving them tries mm-hmm. here and there. Like, um, uh, oh, from Team Ninja, Heaven. Oh, the Heavenly Sword? 
Heavenly Sword, Sword yes. yeah. Because yeah. I heard that was such a spectacle. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, you know, I didn't. I still, even when I got them, I still couldn't be pulled away from PC and and like Nintendo games at mm-hmm. that time. I was still pretty pretty bored into that. Sure. Um, and then I only got the PS4 because of VR. Because I wanted the because when I got my PS4, I got my I got VR right away. Right, right. And um, my Xbox One S, uh, I won it. So <laughs> I didn't actively go out and buy one. But I mean, I'm glad I have it now. But I mean, I still play my PS4 more than my One S. But there was mm-hmm. for a few months ago, like when I was really getting into Game Pass. Uh, I mean, I, you know, it was definitely, I was playing way more Xbox than PS4, but now I divide my time between PC and PS4. Yeah. Uh, we're, it's funny. We're kind of forgetting, like, um, we're talking about brand loyalty. The system that really still has some built-in brand loyalty would be Nintendo. Yeah. You know, it's really, um, they've got a lot that's Nintendo only. Mm, They do. It's uh, and every time they announce something with Mario, it's uh, they're just printing money or Animal Crossing or. Well, the one thing that like really, like I've always played and always enjoyed my Nintendo systems, mm-hmm. but what what's what's really driven me over the moon with the Switch, is uh, indie games. Right. You know, it's funny how they quickly became the market for indie games. Yeah, and. Like I'm playing those more than I'm playing, mm-hmm. you know, Nintendo first party stuff. So, but now I'm also in a funny area where a lot of those are coming out on Game Pass mm-hmm. and I'm playing them on PC. Right, right. So Game Pass, in case you haven't figured it out, is the way to go. It's pretty good. It's, it's got, got a lot of value. Best bang for your buck. Going. Second only to Stadia. Said <sighs> nobody ever. Said nobody ever. <laughs> or Stadia. Do you do you have any brand loyalty? Are you? Do you think not to any consoles that are still around? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. No, that's fair. Um, that's fair. Yeah, like uh, you know, if Sega ever comes out with something again, I will definitely try it. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm still excited because there have been rumors about Sega doing another mini console. Right. Uh, people kind of strongly pointing towards the Dreamcast, mm. which would be the system that would probably, it's been 20 years, 21 years now. So yeah, that would make the most sense. Um, Cause yeah, <laughs> what else would you pick? I mean, honestly, for they've done the Genesis already. Genesis was a, was a no brainer. Yeah. Um, they've made little mini Game Gears, which still kind of weird, but okay. Right, yep. Uh, the Master System in North America was really not that huge. Um, the Saturn, same thing. Never got huge. The Dreamcast was kind of the one that was like, okay, it's kind of a no-brainer for the next one, right? So, hoping for that. Well, one system I am excited for, Ryan, in a splendid... Um, Splendid segue. Brand loyalty. Yeah. Well, okay, that one doesn't really work for me because I was a ColecoVision guy. But anyway, <laughs> okay. I am still a. I do still do have fond memories of in television. And uh, last week, Ryan. Yeah. On October tenth at ten ten, so you had ten ten twenty twenty at ten ten p.m. or a.m. Pacific. Mm-hmm. In television, uh, had a a live stream like Tommy Tellerico specifically with some an Intellivision update, and then they released some YouTube videos of uh, new hardware, a little more about the hardware, and a lot more uh, about the games. And uh, I'd like to talk a little bit more about them if uh, I can. Just take the wheel, man. Take the wheel. Excellent. I've been drinking. <laughs> so the Amico. Uh, First off, uh, Tommy did a uh, live stream there, and um, Tommy Tallarico, president of Intellivision, 
And unfortunately, he did the live stream for about 20 minutes. Um, about half of that was fiddling with his OBS, which an, an OBS is streaming software, very popular for use with us. It's what we use. Um, pretty much every streamer will use it as their software for getting streaming and recording done. Yeah. Occasionally, you get a hiccup. <laughs> and it's not bad in a recording it really sucks in the stream yeah and uh it, it was pretty much unwatchable the audio was okay but the video just kept skipping and i really felt for him uh because we've all been there uh he still got the message across you know they talked a little bit about it and uh a little more of what's going on announced some partnerships and i'm just going to open my notes here quick because we normally go off a recap on a website here but a lot of recaps about this um, GameStop or Game. But uh, I mean, he, uh, you know, you made an ex excellent reaction video. If anyone wants to, uh, thank you, to check out the uh, the videos, you can watch them along with Rob there and yeah, yeah, it was, commentary it was cool on the stuff. Kind of do something like that. Um, he announced a few things. Uh, the first thing he announced was a child ed children's edutainment. Uh, partnership with a company called Playdate Games, but he got the they got the IP for Care Bears, so they're going to do a Care Bears edutainment game. Awesome. Um, they also showed a little bit later on of the uh, Sesame Street edu edutainment game, so it's really cool to see actually one a company making edutainment because I mean we haven't seen that in yeah. a long time, right? Like that's been a oh, while. Like, can... <laughs> dude, I ha having um. Yeah, Apple IIe, like in the schools, like there were so many of them. Like, yeah, and Super Nintendo used to get like, um, oh yeah, you know, you get edut edutainment with Mario or something like that, and it's it's cool to. And of course, on the PC, they had the whole humongous line mm. of games, right? Where yeah, yeah. like uh, Putt Putt goes to the moon, and uh, it's like you know, it's it's been gone a while, and it's kind of it's really nice to see a company kind of being like, okay, we're gonna do this. We're a family console. We're gonna do this, and uh it's great it's great to see like it it's it, it makes me smile a little bit more about the familyness of the the console here and uh they also got some more license they announced some more partnerships uh with game licenses here i'm just going to pull these up as well because they've got um they found the companies that own the rights and we had to look this up to some data east games and for anyone mm. who doesn't know data east made a whole a ton of yeah. great arcade games in the 80s and 90s and the company parent company now is called g mode in japan so g mode i hadn't i gotta admit neither of us had heard of them no but so with those rights they're going to be the amico is going to be releasing a burger time game a lock and chase game and a burning rubber which it was called burning rubber in japan it was called bump and jump here right i think we all remember bump and jump those were some amazing arcade games so it's cool to see they're going to be releasing those and a game that i absolutely loved um and a lot of people did as well from broader bund games called load runner they're going to be releasing a load new load runner game as well and i you know i used to i used to play that so much on the yeah. pc like absolutely i loved that game <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you bet you bet and the uh just really cool to see you know that people are partnering with them like you know it's not a it's not like they're they're kind of stepping out doing this on their own there are there are actual game companies making actual games that are very interested in like uh the the partnership there with the earthworm gym guys like yeah who thought the next earthworm gym game was going to be on the amico right that's uh that's pretty mind-blowing it is but so, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> and then so after that stream, they he uploaded a couple of videos there. One was a hardware update. Mm. And uh, maybe we can link to those videos in the if we remember that in the comments there, because they're both on YouTube. Yeah. Um the hardware video they showed a little bit about the the system and what it does, and they 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 leaked little bits about some of the stuff behind the wheel there. But uh the first thing they talked about was the uh they really focusing on the some uniqueness of the the Amico. Like they're going to have forty independently controlled LEDs <laughs> in the base of the console, 
and 12 leds in each controller and they kind of which sounds kind of gimmicky but then they showed some of the things it can do like uh in certain parts of the games like if they need a siren or something like you're being chased by a police car it'll have like a red and blue thing going around like this yeah yeah or uh for birthdays they'll have like different firework type things going it's it's a very unique idea and they're kind of swinging for the fences right like they're just trying cool stuff that you never would have thought of but when you see you're like okay that's neat tell me more uh, they also talked a little bit about what's on the inside there. Um, so they're going to go with solid state memory. Um, no fans, which is very interesting to see. It's going to be passively cooled. Yeah. So it kind of led me to think, well, how are you going to do that? Well, it's, they announced it's uh, they've got a, they're going to be using Qualcomm Snapdragon processors, which for anyone who doesn't know Snapdragon processors, they have a huge uh, market in Android phones. Um, a lot of streaming players and things like that like the newest android phones like some of the snapdragon processors they can do uh, a lot with them like they can make some really high quality 4k gaming type of stuff so are you going to see the newest one in there probably not um not at this price price point but definitely a very capable uh capable processor in there um Going to have some micro SD expansion. They announced a USB C port in the back. Thank you. Um, <laughs> because, uh, you know, just the ability to actually plug something into it. Uh, built, in, built in RFID hmm. reader. And they announced that there's going to be some games and things that take advantage of that. So the first thing I thought of with it, and uh, being a Nintendo guy, I don't know if it's the first thing that comes to your head too. Is are you going to see something like an amiibo? Yeah. Um, to unlock stuff in games and things like that, like absolutely, um, like it, it would give them a chance to uh, to do something like that. Yeah, do some partnerships, right? Mm -hmm. Like, um, and then some other stuff like it's going to be wireless charging, so you just kind of sit it down and it yeah charges about two hours to charge, uh, four to six hours on a full charge to get out of it. But that's where the USB-C is going to come in handy because you can plug in the controller to a US, the USB-C port in right. the back and keep using it, right? So uh, force feedback, gyroscope, headphone controls, capacitive touchscreen, all sorts of uh, standard stuff at this point, right? So, And that was kind of the hardware update side of things. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't make any notes on the software because that would have made sense. I was kind of excited about it, but... Uh, they showed off, I believe it was 30 games, like little different amounts of gameplay from very, very small amounts to very, very large amounts. Yep. Um, you know, it's, uh, if you're an Intellivision fan, there were some games in there that kind of made you giggle a little bit, like the D and D game, that, uh, cloudy mountain. Yeah. That, that looks, that looks really cool. It does. Uh, <laughs> um, they had a biplane, which I believe was, uh, an Intellivision title. I can't remember for sure, but it's like you got the biplane and as you're flying up, the plane will start to stall. So you have to kind of get it to come back down like a, what else? Uh, the snafu. Perfect. Anyone who's ever owned or known someone with an Intellivision. Yep. No snafu. Like the original snake was. Uh, uh huh. Absolutely. <laughs> fantastic. A night stalker. Looks really creepy, kind of fun. Um, skiing, you know, uh, like four person, and and all of it's got four person co op, right? Like it's uh, yeah. four or more, right? Like it's a, they're really pushing the couch co op. Like, and are any of these eighty dollar games? No, no, no. But they're good. They're not aiming for that. They're aiming for like the five to ten dollar market, right? So, um, has there been any talk about like the, uh? like to have up to four controllers like is there like a you buy like a controller in a cradle or i haven't seen that it looks like the system will only communicate with the two of them but yeah after then you use phones oh right yeah. right right you can okay. you can sync the phone um and it works just like that uh yeah they haven't talked about being able to buy a third or fourth ones of the controller which would right. be uh 
which would be weird because of, with the gyroscope and it controls on the other two, like you wouldn't be able to have four person gyroscope controls, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, if you're using a, a phone though. Phone you could, type. it would depend how well it interacts with like, um, yeah. because the, the phone would have it in it. Mm -hmm. whether the Amico controller software could take advantage of it. Um, yeah. Apple would probably lock that very <laughs> freaking down. Um, of course, yeah. Uh, yeah, then the other thing was that uh, there's a shmup, like a side-scrolling shmup that's called um, something Redux. I never remember the title, but it looks like a AAA shooting game, right? Um, oh, it, I, when I first saw it, before I saw the title come up, I was thinking it was our type it looks a lot like our type it looks absolutely. a lot like our type but um yeah and i'm trying to think of another big outstanding game they didn't they didn't show any earthworm gym coverage but like uh in my video someone pointed out that uh, they've talked that's not going to be anywhere near launch so yeah they're focusing and they showed some cornhole <laughs> which huge in the states i guess um and it's a sponsored partnership with the american cornhole league so it, it's going to be cool for somebody and, it, and it, that's a it's it comes with the system so it's not even like you have to pay for it it's going to be there so that's going to be the new like wee bowling it might be um, right a bim eco it absolutely might be that's something um, you're, you're you can play with your parents no problem yep yeah. A lot of these games yeah. seem like that right like it's uh the missile command with update people looks mm. absolutely amazing it um, really does and, and this is where I had a little bit of a fanboy because I, I, we know what neither Ryan or I or any of the guys in the uh, Grumpy Old Gamers claim to be impartial reporters because we're not. No. We have, we, we're people who love video games. Um, we have, we're, we're big giggly fans. And a lot of the times we're just kind of, we're not impartial reporters. We don't claim to be spoilers. If you're tuning in for that, <laughs> you should really head to something else yeah. but on the video I posted I talked about um, the baseball they actually have a sponsored major league baseball game coming with actually the actual teams and in the video as I'm watching this I said and they I said they have to have you're out in the game because any intelligent fans out there remember that was with the Intellivoice in baseball that was the that was the first time I ever heard speech in a video game. I don't know about you, but it was like that was in the first time, eighty one or eighty, whenever that game came Dude, out. Dude, it, it, it like, was so in, it's so ingrained into my memory. Like yeah, B seventeen bomber. Yep, like yep, <laughs> absolutely. But the television voice was like so freaking revolutionary. Or in our eyes, it was like yeah, this was just before Tron happened. Like this, but this is what Tron would have been. And so in the comments of that video I put out, Tommy Tallarico said um, in the comments, thank you for supporting the and talking about the Amico. Please stay tuned for more exciting stuff coming, which if, he, if he'd left it at that, I would have been like, okay. He obviously searched for anything that was hashtag Amico and just posted a, posted a thing. But the next line in the comment said, and you're damn right, we're going to stick you out in the baseball game. <laughs> and I lost my crap. It was like, okay, I'm going to buy three of these. No, I can't afford to buy three of them. I do have one on pre-order, though. But uh, I was like, you know what? It's little things like that, just going out of your way to watch YouTubers talking about your stuff. And I mean, in the grand scheme of like, triple a level to um somewhere around like Z level which is where ryan and i honestly so we're more blessed. y we're more of a y yeah. maybe, but we're not big guys like he gains nothing for commenting on our video but he watched it and he commented and that is just that's cool because i damn straight um miramoto was never going to comment on any of our videos no probably not no <laughs> so so honestly, is it impartial reporting? Like what, what the video I released, is there anything impartial about it? No. Maybe in the fact I said Shark Shark is not the game for us, but um, <laughs> we're legitimately excited and cheering these guys on because 
it reminds us, we both remember when video games were about this, when you would sit with your family and play Mr. Do or um, Frenzy or um, Pac-Man with your family yeah. and sitting around the, sitting around the, the, um, the couch like that. And this is the first system in forever that seems to have even be trying to bring that back. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're all cheering them on. I really hope it does well. They, they're making some great steps. They got some good partnerships in place. Here's hoping, hanging on for April, right? So, <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, my long-winded thing about the, uh, the Miko event, which to me was bigger than, uh, <laughs> bigger than anything Sony or Microsoft put out because it actually was something I'm glad for all those brand new exciting systems but this mm -hmm. is the one that's really getting me excited so absolutely yeah yeah so yeah, we'll uh try and remember uh add those links we'll put the links in our show notes yeah, absolutely you bet. check it out for yourself there folks <sighs> well um uh, i think that's all we got for news yeah. You want to burn through some what we've been playing here? and Absolutely. Do, 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 do. What you playing? <laughs> do you uh, you want to go first? Do you want sure. me to go first? I can go first. You okay. Bet. Um, well, first off, the, the kids and I have been playing an awful lot of a game that I've played a, a lot of. I put way too many hours in, but on September 23rd-ish, I think it was. 23rd, 24th. I think it's 23rd. Mm -hmm. The Untitled Goose Game released a two-player option for their game. So the kids and I were all playing as the second, you know, having two, replaying the game, but with two geese. And it is just, it's and it, just, it, just delightful. And it is literally that? you. It's the same game. Okay. Same missions and everything. Like they, The only thing that changes is uh, the, the geese can only get so far apart from each other. Now it's a fair right. amount. But it kind of changes like that. But the puzzles and everything are all, it, it completely changes the way you can do them. Yeah, right. You know, it's, uh, and um, like, for example, when you're trying to get into the pub at the end of, uh, you have a goose, your goose go in the box. You hide in the box and the person carries you in. Spoilers if you haven't played <laughs> Goose Game. Um, when you got two geese, you can only have one in the box. Oh, okay. See, so you, you got to figure out how you're going to get to that second goose in. So it's uh, a. Also, there, there, that... there's some changes then. Like if they then just add this, like there, there's some puzzle changes then too. Yeah, yeah. Like the puzzles are the same, oh. but it's um, the way you have to do them. And it also opens up different ways of doing them. So, like with okay. a little boy, when you've got to change out his glasses, mm -hmm. yeah, the one goose actually take the glasses from the boy, and the other one's coming back with the other glasses, and you're you're dropping them right away. Um, you can have a goose distracting, say, the shopkeeper. Yeah, while the other goose kind of sneaks in and grabs something, right? Like it's um, oh, cool. It really changes it. It's and it's if you haven't played Goose Game by now, the Untitled Goose Game, go play it. It's like <laughs> it's like I think you can play it free on like I don't know if it's in Game Pass. I think it was in Game Pass, but oh. um. Yeah, yeah, might be. Yeah, if it isn't, I mean, it, nope. it's got to be ridiculously cheap on like it's on Switch, PC, PlayStation Four, I believe. It's but, everywhere. Yeah, go play it, and uh, especially if you have somebody you can play it with, because it's <laughs> it's honestly like the still one of the most feel good games I've played in a long, long time. So, so there's that. Also tried out, because uh, it came out on Game Pass, speaking of the best value in gaming <laughs> right now, uh, I played uh, Forza 7. Because it just came out on Game Pass. It's a beautiful game. Like, it can play at 4K on a, on a not burning fast system at 60. Mm -hmm. Looks great. I'm curious what you thought of it. Uh, for me, I still prefer the Horizon series. Um, because I just want to drive across a field somewhere. Yeah. I, I put about an hour into it 
did some mm-hmm. races and marveled at the beauty. And then yep. I was like, you okay. know, I don't want to like, I love the open world. So yep. then I ended up going and playing like three hours of Horizon 4. You yeah. know, like, um, I just didn't, you know what, I've got all the cars, uh, like I'm working, you know, I have my whole car library in 4 and mm-hmm. yeah, I was good. <laughs> I'm glad they have both series because there are definitely going to be people who prefer tuning up the cars and oh yeah, doing yeah. the big races and stuff. So motorsport having that series is great because there's a horizon crowd, there's a motorsport crowd and you've got them both covered and they're both great series. Like the racing in Forza is seven is amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh, but definitely. I was in the same boat where I'm like, I just want to ride my car off a cliff somewhere and, you know, go busting through some fences. I want to want to go off a ramp. Uh, yep <laughs> absolutely absolutely yeah so i logged in and did some forza like the forza thong going on right now oh is there oh, okay. yeah well the there seasonal one right the one that changes right the, yeah yeah so. yeah you bet and then uh topping off is a little known game uh, i went back to for a little bit called borderlands 2 don't know if you've heard of it where um, were you playing it this time <laughs> i've gone back and started to do it on pc again um, oh, okay I played it on Switch for a while and I got to a certain point where I just missed the mouse and keyboard. So I'm like, I haven't played it since I upgraded the computer, you know, about six months ago. And I, I just mm-hmm. wondered how it looked. In 4K, it, it looks really, really good. And because it's an older cell shaded game, it runs at 60 frames a second, no problem on the highest resolution with Ultra. Yeah. So I went back and I've been I've been playing that because of course. Yeah, um, no, I hear you, man. Hear still you. a heck of a good game. Like, I actually like Borderlands 2 more than 3. Oh. Um, which I think is a very pop... I don't think I'm the only one who thinks that. Like, Borderlands 3 is a great game, but I think a lot of people still think 2 is the pinnacle. Okay. As far as gameplay and, like, the the story. The story in 3 kind of sucks. <laughs> There's my... um, Your hot take? Yeah, my hot... I don't know how hot <laughs> of a take it is, but the, the villains in three are they're very much they're twins the calypso twins they're based on like over the top streaming personalities oh, okay and it's you kind of just the whole time they're talking you're like oh shut up you know right whereas until you got handsome jack and he's uh he's pretty awesome so, okay i still haven't uh i still haven't played two it's on my to-do list absolutely yeah you probably own it in like 12 different yeah, collections yeah, for Steam yeah. and stuff, yeah. Well, this year, like, everybody seemed to be giving it away. I, I'm pretty sure I, I I do. I have it on Epic. I have it in Steam. Yep. Um, they gave it away on PS4. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I bought a copy of two for my 360. Yep. <laughs> you know, like, I do. I got it in all sorts of places. Yeah, I own it on Vita as yeah. well. Like, um <laughs> You go <laughs> yeah so yeah if for some reason you've never heard of borderlands 2 feel free to go play it but i don't think that one's going to inspire anyone to pick it up but uh, yeah. still a great game and that's uh that was my video game uh video games for the week how about uh you there young young cashmere so I'll offer a couple updates um i already talked about four to four is a seven gorgeous but i just want to Mm-hmm. have some crazy driving in four sure. in horizon four mm-hmm. uh, you know forza seven came out way before um horizon four did yeah and uh you know um i probably i probably would have played it not having the option of playing horizon four would have put a lot more time into it but yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so another Game Pass game is uh, I finished the um, uh, campaign on Frostpunk. All right, yeah. After yeah. about twenty tries, uh, it's it's a hard game. Sure. Um, you know that uh, that actually I had a question for you. Uh, where where do you fall in like simulator type games like like Civilization or like? I, I never really ever hear you saying that you're trying them or like. You... I used to be in my younger days when I had a lot more free time. 
Yeah. Um, I was huge in the Civ 2, which might have been, was that colonization? No, there was a Civ 2. The Civ 2, mm-hmm. Civ 3. Uh, I used to love Sim City. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I just don't have the time now. Right. I, I would love to because I do really enjoy the genre, but. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to recommend Frostpunk because it's it's not a it's not a uplifting experience at all <laughs> oh cool yeah <laughs> the campaign like your the intensity of the last like five days of the of the set basically in the campaign you're building up to try and survive like one last burst of cold and then but you're you know i i was up to like 500 people in my little city that uh, mm-hmm. I'd saved from the cold. Uh, the story of Frostpunk, if you don't know, is that um, this happens in Victorian area and everything is uh, uh, steampunk. That's why it's frost. It's called Frostpunk. Yeah, and, very clever. Um, the world is freezing. So, like, basically, when you start the game, it's minus 30. And then, it, then you know, three, you know, for about, I think it's like. 40 50 days it fluctuates between minus 30 to minus 60 and you've got all your problems and you're always mm-hmm. dealing with unrest and you're trying to keep your people warm um also the game is uh circular because there's a your steam tower in the middle and like scientists have gone and built these steam towers around in like volcanoes and so you build all around these steam towers and build out from them okay but yeah um, it took me about 20, 20 tries. I, I'm just learning and like, uh, I, I like doing that in games like that, but I was honestly on the verge of giving up because <laughs> I had made it to those last couple of days, a couple of times yep. and the people just give up on you and kick you out into the storm. <laughs> oh, got yeah. you. So, um, but I finished it and I'm happy with the time I put into it. Um, as we were talking earlier, we I had we had a long weekend this past weekend, and I I played a lot of games. <laughs> um, I I tried out Journey to the Savage Planet some more. I talked about that last week for a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I put another hour and a half, two hours into it, and the gameplay loop didn't really change. Hmm. And as much as I'm enjoying the humor and everything in it, uh, I don't know. I kind of sure. Kind of lost interest. More shiny stuff. Mm-hmm. You bet. Um, but something that's been a joy is I picked up Bullet Storm on the Switch. Right. <laughs> and it's it's called the Duke of Switch version. Yes. Yes. You because bet. you can play as Duke Nukem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. So they didn't just put a skin on one of the guys and have him say like Duke Nukemy stuff. Mm-hmm. They actually like re-recorded lines for this. Because there's like, points where he's like, I don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> or <laughs> he's like, I'm not sure why I'm so attached to you. Or <laughs> you know, like because you're you're blasting through this game with a partner. So mm-hmm. there's been a couple of times where you know I'm playing it right before bed and you know my wife's already fallen asleep and I've nearly woken her up because I'm giggling to myself at the oh, that's funny. of Duke Newcomb. <laughs> <laughs> The game itself is uh, it's kind of um, it's kind of uh, mindless fun too, right? Um, sure. Because it's uh, the whole idea of it is. At first, I was like, "Man, for a game called Bullet Storm, you really don't have a lot of ammo all the time." <laughs> it's really about the the kills, like you're you're trying to kill people in in like creative ways, and you get all these okay. bonus points and like. There's actually like a list of ways, like if it, it'll register like a head, chest, leg, butt shots. <laughs> <laughs> and you've also awkward. got this, you've also got this whip that you like, it's like um, scorpion spear. It's like, get over here. And you get over here. You fling guys towards yourself. And then you, can, yeah, it, it's crazy, crazy fun. And I've actually been having a lot of fun playing it. So I've been dividing b- between that and, uh, um overwatch before i go to bed you know get all jacked right. up <laughs> right on and that's on sale right now right that's what made you pick it up yeah or... oh yeah it was uh it was it was down to 
it was like 75 percent off on the on the switch store there i think it was down to 10 bucks so all right on. i was like right i've heard some good things about this i wanted to wanted to give her a try Excellent. um i have also been playing some avengers on pc uh just doing the campaign mode on that uh things have been going great except twice now i've had to restart missions because mm-hmm. it, i reach a point where like i should be progressing like a door is supposed to open for me or something like basically yeah. you're supposed to have cleared out the waves mm-hmm. and i've killed everything and i can't go on so i have to restart the the chapter I've heard there's a lot of game breaking bugs in that game. I don't know, man. Like, you know, it's uh, mm-hmm. it's a little annoying. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm definitely gonna play through all the campaign and just sure. see where that ends up. And lastly, last night I fired up Carrion. Well, I'm excited to hear what you said. You thought about that? Oh man! That's a... like, I, after I played it, I immediately messaged you guys in the chat there, and I was like. Even if you just play this game for five minutes to feel mm-hmm. the control of the beast, it is so well done. <laughs> um, but it's just, it's hard. It's surprisingly mm-hmm. hard, the game. Uh, you know, for being a flesh eating monster of great strength, you certainly can't take any bullets. <laughs> you, you get shot pretty quick and die. Sure, sure. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it. Um, I put about an hour into it last night, and I was having like, I was, just, you know, you're grabbing people and eating them, and they're screaming and <laughs> blood everywhere. It's just, yeah, it's just good, stupid fun. Excellent, good, what stupid fun, today? Rob. Um, I was playing it on my One uh, S actually on Xbox. Okay, but yeah, through Game Pass as well. <laughs> just trying all the Game Pass games. That's right. That's right. Well, very good. Very good. Yeah. So, yeah, I was a busy boy this past weekend. I got a lot of gaming in. Not a lot of yard work done. No. Nope. <laughs> but nope. a lot of gaming in. Um, I think the only other thing we'll mention uh, is I did my uh, backlog of good intention this week. Yes. And uh, I played Death Road to Canada, which was actually... Uh, a game that you like you were super hyped about it when it came out so i was like it was infectious i was like oh i gotta try this and i bought it and never played it <laughs> <laughs> tried it for about 20 minutes on my old pc and mm-hmm. i had a crap uh joystick at the time and it i don't know i didn't it didn't feel right playing it with uh with a keyboard and mouse so i think i tried like 10 minutes of it and was like meh mm-hmm. but i went back to it here and had a great time i'm definitely gonna yep. Definitely going to play it some more. I, I played until I died, until I got eaten by zombies, but I'm going to restart another game and see where it's, that it, takes me. It's great because each run you're like, uh, oh, it's the RNG could totally, it makes a huge difference. It's just like Oregon Trail, right? Where it's yes. like, if the RNG is on your favor, um, you can do good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, good. We should do that one on stream. I think you were saying the same thing there too. Yeah. That, yeah, we can We can do it forgot we could two-player that so yeah yeah it'd be a good halloween uh live stream maybe look at you oh, with a good idea oh, oh all right there we go okay Better in that resident evil 7 that's a stupid <laughs> idea well, that's still a great idea <laughs> <sighs> well i think that's about it i think i yeah. got rob yeah, we chatted for a long time there. We actually, yeah, we're again, you know, we're always so worried. We're like, we got nothing in news, and then we fall down these rabbit holes of yep. random thoughts. And yep, see something shiny, and oh man, it's eight thirty here right now when we're recording, so I'm ready yeah. for bed. It's yeah. uh... <laughs> almost bedtime for both of us. Yep, it happens when yep. you get older. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It was funny when we were doing a little bit of an ad there for the the Patreon. Mm-hmm. and uh, someone commented you don't look that old yeah <laughs> i'm like well we'll take that that's great yeah thank you very much um it was we a very flattering old. picture i guess <laughs> yeah we're a lot a lot closer to pension than prom that's the tagline yep. of the show so absolutely yeah well all right well we're not gonna ramble on i'm gonna just 
head right into the ending here, Rob. Go. We've been talking about how we just end up rambling and can't end the show. And yep. you know, I'm rambling and then you're rambling and then I'm rambling and oh, look what I'm doing. It's here we go. Now we're in. Uh... Once again, everyone, thank you for watching slash listening. Uh, you can check out more of our stuff at thegrumpyoldgamers.com. That's where we post all of our original content. And uh, probably for the most activity, check us out on Facebook. Look up the Grumpy Old Gamers. And if you'd like to support us, if you like what we do, we have a Patreon page as well. Just search the Grumpy Old Gamers there. We'd love, uh, you know, love to get a little support. And if you have anything you want to tell us, anything at all, dirty little secrets, not so dirty secrets, gaming secrets. How about gaming secrets? Yeah, we'll stick with that. Uh, you can email mail us at makeusgrumpy at gmail.com. You know, we haven't gotten an email in a while. And, uh, you know, we love to uh, we love to get them. If uh, for those who don't know, Gmail is Google's email program. Oh, they're fairly new this Google. But uh, yeah, yeah. Here they're, a bit. here they're going to do good, big things. Big things. Just not Stadia. It's the dumb name. Google. Google. <laughs> yeah. You need a good name like Ask Jeeves. You know, when you're doing that, yeah, because you're you... searching Ask Jeeves, you're asking him. Well, what about Alta Vista? I mean, it's a mountain range. What's more majestic? You could Netscape navigate those Alta Vista mountains. This is All the right. problem. You, I'm blaming you for the this derailment. One's my, this one's on me. <laughs> this one's on me. Uh, maybe, maybe the next 50 will. We'll have a, we'll work on the, the segues to the end. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, I think we've said everything. All right. We'll just say good night now. Good night, have a good everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> bye.